Well, power cuts could be a thing of the past here in Gauteng come January of next year, and that's according to the Premier Panyaza Lesufi uh, himself. Panyaza Lesufi saying there are plans uh, in place. Let's unpack those. The Premier uh, joining me this morning. Hello, Premier. Good to have you on ENCA. Can we just talk about how we're going to be achieving this by January of uh, next year? In 15 years, not much has been achieved. What's going to happen in the next few months? Good morning. Gareth, good morning. Thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity. Gareth, we had uh, what we call an electricity summit last week. Uh, we invited literally everyone, community organizations, uh, national government, business, uh, and all municipalities, uh, just for us to entertain and discuss this matter. I think the approach is uh, that people that are without electricity, with, uh, even when there's no load shedding, uh, where the transformers have blown, uh, many substations are not working, cables have been stolen. So we committed ourselves as those organizations uh, that come the 1st of January. We will ensure that all those problems are eliminated. Where transformers have been stolen, we'll replace them. Where many stations are not working, we will ensure those many stations are working. And this, we believe, will contribute uh, to the total elim elimination mm. uh, of electricity challenges in our communities. How in exactly? Help, 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 just before we move on, Premier, just help me understand, residents understand, yep. how are you going to suddenly get that right? How are you going to suddenly stop cables being stolen? How are you going to suddenly stop transformers from exploding, from being overloaded, when not really much is changing on the ESCOM side? Just give me the nuts and bolts of this. There are seven points that we have adopted, uh, Gareth. Uh, the first one, between the 1st of September and the end of December, uh, we are running a, a, an awareness campaign to ensure that those that are illegally connected to the system must be removed. And within that same period, those that are illegally connected and want to be legally connected, uh, we've taken the decision that they must be connected legally, which simply means that they must go through the internal processes. So we want to remove illegal connections from all sides from those people that are staying in uh, high uh, earning areas who are connecting illegally, to those that are staying in the informal settlement uh, that need electricity but are connecting illegally. So that's the first major step that we need to do. So from the 1st of September to the end of December, we are running that awareness campaign with all our municipalities so that we can support those that are, uh, uh, need to be connected legally. Secondly, which is very, very key, is to then register people that can afford to pay. National government has made millions of billions of rents available just to give free electricity to those who can afford to pay. But we can't access that amount of money because we don't have a reliable database of who can afford to pay, who can afford to pay. Here we are targeting people that are unemployed, we are targeting the elderly, and we are targeting people that are staying in informal settlement that we all know they are going through, uh, uh, through difficulties. Third, which is key as well, those that must pay, must pay. Which simply means you put all the necessary system, which takes me to the fourth point of installing smart prepaid meters in all housing households and all housing businesses. We're encouraging them to convert into a smart prepaid system. Fifthly, then repair the infrastructure that is broken. Uh, and repairing the infrastructure that is broken means replacing the transformers means replacing the mid, uh, mini stations that are not working also as government we've committed ourselves to bring on board uh, those power stations that have been closed uh, in our province within that context and that's the answer that i want to give to you we've worked with the police we've got uh, peace wardens in our in our, in, our, in our province normally they patrol during the day we are changing them to also patrol at night and patrolling at night, they must monitor strategic centers, which include transformers, ensure that there's no cable theft in our province. And how, much is this gonna, how much is this going to cost the province? Uh, because I imagine if you're talking about 1st of September to beginning December, end December, Premier, this has been budgeted for already. What's the money around this to get all this right? Not the police wardens. I'm talking the replacement of the infrastructure, the replacing of the cables, etc. What money are you, are you talking about and where are you getting that money from? We've, we've, we've budgeted for it. Uh, at the State of the Nation address, uh, when I had the honor to address our nation, I committed 1.2 billion uh, as an interim fund. Um, and we, we were prepared to budget as much as 3 billion, but because we didn't understand the magnitude of the problem, we said, let's start with 1.2 billion 
It's there, it's available on the basis of what we can use or utilize. We'll then top it up when we do budget adjustments. So we've got that budget of 1.2 mm. billion mm. Uh, card that is available. How are you uh, going to decide which, uh, sorry, Premier, how are you going to decide which areas get priority? I'm going to just name three of them, and I'm sure there's many, many more. These are just the three that I see trending on social media all the time. I'm sure you know more about uh, the other areas as well. Germiston, Northwold, North Riding, been an issue for years. How are you as the Premier going to prioritise who gets new transformers first, who gets the police wardens to make sure copper cabling isn't stolen? What's your priority list? How do you do that? Gareth, we've got 279 transformers that have blown in our province. We know their size, we know where they're located, we know which area does not have a transformer. We are starting in zone eight in Soweto because they've, they've been without electricity now for the next three, for the past three to four years. They've been having that problem, uh, the entire zone eight. And I went there to address that community and we committed to assist them. We're caught up with the, uh, with the, with difficulty. So what we're going to do, we're going to deploy all our premium uh, uh, MECs and all our uh, uh, watch councillors to go to all these areas that we've identified that have uh, transformer challenges. We are making fund available to City Power so that City Power, which has the legal mandate to procure this kind of uh, 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 devices that we are looking for, and they will be in a position to speak to ESCOM and other institutions to allow them to install these things. We have to move with speed. As I indicated to you, Karen, these are communities that have been without electricity for the last three to four years, and we've been dealing darling because we have legislative limitations. So this must be done by ESCOM, this done by City Power. ESCOM in some instances are asking communities to pay 6,000 rand each household before they can put a, a What happens, what and happens Premier, if in six months' time you and I sit here and uh, we've been told that all these plans haven't come to fruition and you've, you've failed at this because you're the face of all of this? What are you going to do if you, if you can't get this right? I'd also contend this all sounds fantastic, but it might be a bit of electioneering. Well, I'd rather be accused of electioneering than be accused of doing nothing. Um, and those that are accusing us of electioneering, it's a shortcut. Uh, they can't meet the debate, the discussion. They can't have alternative plans. They want this government to fail so that they can score their own political uh, uh, points. We'll rather be accused of failing rather than be accused of not doing. And whatever that we are doing now, Karen, we are determined to ensure that how they get rid of three crucial things that are creating problems for us. The first one is crime. We've put the necessary resources, almost uh, 2.7 billion rands for this year to ensure that we fight crime, we empower the police, we give all the police the resources that they need. The second part was uh, job creation, ensure that our people get jobs in our province. And the third one is the issue of uh, load shedding, that we ensure that we play our part uh, to minimize load shedding in our province. And that's what we're doing. We've been elected uh, the last eight months and we're moving with speed to deal with these things. And if people want to accuse us that we're doing this for political expediency, it's purely because they can't match or give us an alternative things. They want this province to fail. And we can't fold our arms and have this province failing. We will go there and do whatever that is needed and we'll ensure that we succeed. Uh, Premier, let me just ask you very briefly in closing, the three power plants, that's what we're calling it at the moment, is, is, is that going to be in place by January as well? What are the plans around that? Just very briefly, Premier, before I let you go. Well, yes, uh, we're, we're in discussion with one power plant that is a cooling called Kelvin. Uh, we really believe that we're at that one stage. Uh, we are having another power plant that is in Johannesburg that is owned by City Power. There are two of them that we believe that we can put the necessary resources to bring them on, 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 on board. The third one is based in the Tswani. Unfortunately, that one is going to take us long. But what we have done, we have gone to the market asking global and local institutions who can afford to give us uh, 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 electricity. We received 85 strong bids. These are 85 institutions that say we can power housing. So we're evaluating these 85 proposals on how quick we can get electricity in housing so that we can ensure that we power housing and ensure yeah. Yeah. it remains a powerhouse of our country.